The Russian Internet Army was born in 1958, and back then it was called the Psychological Forces, or officially Chief Politician Administration of the Armed Forces of the USSR. But they reached the peak of its power in 1985 during the war in Afghanistan. Disinformation, fakes, rumors, even anecdotes. Every time when they occupied new territory, they started launching powerful propaganda campaigns using all means. When the Internet era began, Russians, who call themselves the successors of the USSR, were first shocked how the information campaigns may be provided via the World Web. When the USA implemented a doctrine about informational operations, Russians were still publishing the newspaper Pravda Agenda. On the other hand, they quickly learned how to harm. In 2007, Russians initiated the hack against Estonian government institutions via DDoS attacks. First attempts to become a modern nation failed. Moreover, the biggest fail happened in 2008, during one of the wars that Russia has been waging from the first day of its existence. In the Georgian war, Russia succeeded to kill and destroy, but lost the media and informational war. When Soviet agents can deal with quality, they do it with quantity and all the bureaucracy. In 2011, the psychological forces received its modern Russian structure. Headquarters, editors and printing, department of oral propaganda, radio and TV propaganda, and internet propaganda. These ones will surely come to comment on this story. Just watch it. What they usually say during this war is always the same. Either blaming West for playing with Ukraine, or blaming Ukrainian authorities for war, or blaming Ukraine for fakes, or spreading fakes about Nazis in Ukraine. These are the most expensive Russian internet troops with brains. Mostly we see just Russian flags and stupid irrelevant pro-Russian mottos. But who are they? In 2014, in Olgina, St. Petersburg region, Russians opened an academy preparing specialists in three digital military facilities – internet trolling, bloggers and incitement of hatred and hostility. Five years ago, Moscow gladly reported that the students receive the officer ranks. There is an information war. The United States and the West are quite serious brainwashing Ukrainians. Russia has never set a goal to attack. We have always defended ourselves from everyone. Russia has never attacked anyone first. With the daily norm of thousand comments, they use different accounts and IPs with the average salary 1000 rubles daily. It's about $13. They create accounts themselves or take it for rent. They have more and less expensive regions. They have more and less expensive co-workers. This is why those Russian internet paratroopers who come to our stories are mostly from Russia itself, India, Pakistan or Serbia. The salary falls, the quality falls. There were plans in Russia to create an internet army of conscripts. But the overall IQ level is the same that regular troops have. So this army most likely would die trying to switch on the VPN. How many internet warriors Russian have? Not much info about that. But with Russians, it's always simple. The less money they have, the less patriotic and harmful work they do. Look at their cars. It's inhuman from the very beginning. Hold on a minute, I'm just gonna put my seatbelt on. Of course, there are still real enthusiasts supporting Russian propaganda in social media. But as the Russian proverb says, there is no more terrifying enemy than your own supporter idiot. Что ж ты сделал, Байден? 